Hi everyone! So it is the end of January, which means it is time for January favourites. But first, I just wanted to say something. I hope everyone had a wonderful Australia Day. I know I did. I spent it with friends and it was a beautiful day. I feel so blessed that we live in such a beautiful country and I really feel like we should appreciate it more. So here's to many more Australia days. Anyway, on to the video. So one of my Christmas gifts was a My Gift Voucher and I spent it pretty much straight away uh, at the beginning of the month. And one of the things that I got was the Benefit Stay Flawless Primer. I was running out of my professional and I wanted to try some other primers just to get a feel for them and so I thought I would try the Stay Flawless because it has gotten quite good reviews and you can probably hear that windstorm outside. <laughs> so we've got like a cyclone developing off the coast and we're getting quite heavy winds at the moment so just bear with me. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, I thought I would try this primer and I really like it, but it's it's very different to any other primer I've had. So it comes like a stick and you just got to twist it up and then you just, you know, rub it on your head, on your head, <laughs> on your forehead, wherever you have large pores or you are oily or wherever you just want your foundation to last longer and I freaking love it. <laughs> um, for me it is just as good as my professional and that says a lot um, but I am really really enjoying it. It's much quicker to use in the professional because you don't have to rub it in you just simply have to swipe it on your face and then start applying your foundation. Um, packaging is super 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 cute really like it. Another benefit product that I've been loving is the Rocketeur blush. Um, yeah I jumped on the bandwagon <laughs> but it's a super pretty pinky brown shade with gorgeous shimmer. I am wearing it on my cheeks today. I just adore this blush. It goes with every single makeup look. It is natural enough to wear with like a bright bold lip and you can still get away with wearing it. It's not going to compete with it. Um, it's just a really great blush and it actually has a nice scent. Like you know how I said um, the Bella Bamba blush that I bought? I felt like, hey, it's supposed to smell really good. That's what everyone says about benefit blushes and I can't smell anything. Well this one smells a lot stronger than the Bella Bamba. I don't know, that might just be my particular Bella Bamba, but you know. But anyway, yes, I, going off track there, I really, really like this blush. Really nice. Love it. I've also been loving my NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu, which is a really lovely nude. I am wearing it today as well. It's really been my go-to lip gloss this entire month. It's really easy to wear. I love the formulation of the NYX Butter Glosses. They're very creamy and buttery as the name suggests and they do actually last quite well which is good for a lip gloss so I really recommend you guys checking them out they are sold in Target here in Australia for $10. Something new that I've been delving into has been individual lashes and I've got these ones here by Ardell so I have the, which ones, there we go, the medium and then the short. So how I like to wear individual lashes, these particular ones, I will wear the medium, about two of these on the very outer corner and then probably two short going inner and um, that just make, gives my eye more of an almond shape, more of a Taylor Swift eye as opposed to a big baby doll eye. I have a very round eye. And I quite like the more almond shape. Um, so that's what I do uh, to create a more almond shape eye. I've been loving these individual lashes. They are so comfy to wear. I can't even feel them on my eye. They blend in really nicely. They are just, a, <laughs> they're quite tricky to apply. They're definitely more difficult than half lashes or a full strip but you do get the hang of it after you use it a few times. I have been using this item like crazy this month and that is the Sigma highlighting pencil and it's the matte 
um, off-white creamy shade. I really like applying this in the inner corners. I've decided that I just really don't like a shimmery highlight in the inner corners. I've never been a big fan of that. Um, I just don't like it on me or on others to be honest. Uh, I just really like a matte shade and uh, this pencil is fantastic and this pencil is fantastic for that and yeah I've just I've really been liking it it's nice and creamy it's easy to blend and it looks really good next is an oldie but a goodie and that is my Revlon Colorstay foundation I've been loving this stuff um, this entire month probably the last couple of months really to be honest and I've really been loving applying it with my beauty blender Applying it with a beauty blender gives it more of a natural finish rather than a matte finish. I've been really into my natural and glowy finishes. But the problem I have with a glowy finish is that sometimes I can get really, actually not sometimes, most of the time I get really oily if I don't use the right products. But I find using the Revlon Color Stay for... Um, combination oily skin and a beauty blender gives a really nice natural finish and then if I um, be careful as to where I put powder like most of the time nowadays I'll just put powder underneath my eyes to set my concealer and on my t-zone and that's it and um, I'll also use highlighter to give me that nice glowy look so I'm not matte and yeah I've been really enjoying that and I've been enjoying these two together. I've got one hair favourite and I can't find it but I did use it in my last video so I will insert that here. Um, that is the Schwarzkopf Instant Volume Powder. It is fantastic. It's like a it's a powder in a little bottle. You sprinkle a little in your roots and then you rub it in and it gives you instant volume. It is fantastic. Whoops, that's my phone. It's really great for uh, anyone who has fine limp hair like me. <laughs> oh, that's what I wanted to say. Uh, it's really hard to get out of your hair though. Um, the best way that I get it out of my hair is by using a really good clarifying shampoo. And the one that I use is the Lush Big Shampoo because it has chunks of sea salt in it. Um, it's super clarifying, gets it out fantastic. Um, otherwise, if I don't use that, then I will still have it in my hair. Like, I still have it in my hair now and uh, it's been like two or three days and it just it won't come out. Um, yeah, unless I use my really deep clarifying shampoo. But that's the only negative. My fashion favourite of the month has been my handbag, which is from Forever New. This is called the Finn Mini Bag. Um, I'm not sure if they still have it on sale on the website, but I will link it below for you guys. I did a what's in my bag a couple videos back, so I won't talk about this bag too much because I did talk about it in that video. And I will um, link it below for you guys. Um, but it's just a fantastic, cute little bag that forces me not to take too much stuff. And uh, it's super cute. I'm loving it. Loving it. Now, I'm not sure if this was in my December favorites. No, it couldn't have been. No, it could have been. Yes, it could have been. <laughs> because it came... I'm oh, Sorry, I'm talking about a movie. Oh my gosh, I'm going everywhere today. Uh, Frozen, the movie. Oh, it's so beautiful. Uh, we watched it on um, Boxing Day. That's when it came out over here. So it could have been in my last favourites. So I'm not quite sure. But that is such a gorgeous movie. It's the latest Disney movie. If you haven't seen it, go and see it. It's such a good feel-good happy movie with lots of singing and that is my favorite kind of movie with lots of singing and um, really beautiful storyline um, visually it's very beautiful so I highly recommend it to anyone and everyone to go see it my last favorite is actually a drink <laughs> and that's a bit random but okay, it's my favorite so um, for Christmas that was my computer telling me it's four o'clock Thank you. For Christmas, our friends, um, they got us a milk frother, an electric milk frother, which is fantastic. And uh, so the drink that I've made making with that thing has been a mocha latte. And um, I don't drink coffee. I don't like coffee. 
And um, one day at work, I just decided, hey, I'm going to try a little bit of coffee in my Milo this morning and see what it tastes like. And it was amazing. It was so good. Okay, so I'll tell you what I do. So I use about a quarter to half a teaspoon of coffee. I know that's so little, hey. Um, but the one that I like is this uh, Makona Classic Medium Roast. And uh, it's really nice and smooth. It's not bitter. I really hate bitter coffee. Like, the coffee that they have at McCafe and McDonald's is really bitter and ugh, it's disgusting. Um, so yeah, I have um, a quarter to a half a teaspoon of this particular coffee, Makona Medium Roast. And then I have two teaspoons of Milo. If you don't know what Milo is, because it is an Australian drink, it is like a chocolate powder which is made from malted um, wheat or barley. It's amazing. It's so good. It's so good. You have to try it if you can get it wherever you live in the world. It was invented by an Australian chemist quite a number of years ago. I think it was invented in the 30s. Anyway, it's a really yummy chocolatey drink. So yeah, so I have quarter to a half a teaspoon of the coffee and then two teaspoons of Milo and then a teaspoon of sugar. <laughs> and then I put in my frost, frost, you try saying that, frost, frost. <laughs> I was only going to need it, frost milk. And um, then put a little bit of chocolate powder on top. And then I've got my own mocha latte and it tastes flipping amazing, so good. I tried to recreate the same thing at McDonald's the other day and then it just, it tasted terrible because their coffee is so bitter. But yeah, I've been liking my version of a mocha latte, it's really tasty. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you for watching, that is my January favourites, I hope I didn't bore you too much, um, but yeah, that's... I got the giggles, man. <laughs> that is everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will be talking to you guys very, very soon. Bye. Let it go, let it go. So I, man, it was a car, man. So how I like to well, well, that's not a word. Hmm. Frozen, laughing too much. No, you can never laugh too much. You can never laugh too much. Yeah. We, we don't have to worry about nothing. Cause we got the fire, we're burning one hell of a